Hello again and welcome to episode 6 of my Let's Play of uh, Civilization 5. This is a war tutorial if uh, you haven't seen my previous videos and uh, I am playing as the Russians, the Russian Empire. Catherine uh, is the uh, queen. Um, just a little quick rundown of what I've been doing uh, so far. This is my capital here. I've conquered... Um, well, I started out in here in Europe, um, which would be Europe in, the, in, in our terms, but uh, I conquered most of China, which was over here. One, two, three, four, five cities. I left um, Jean here. I'll, uh, I'll help Geneva, which is my ally city state, conquer them later. Um, the war that I'm fighting right now is with the Ottoman Empire, which is these three cities here, four here, and he's got uh, a few islands out here that I probably won't take anytime soon. I just want to, I just want his, the bulk of his empire right now. I want these four cities here. Probably start with these three, may make peace with them and take that one later. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. But for right now, uh, my attack is going to be on Bursa, or however you pronounce that. So uh, let's get started. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shell his city. If you haven't seen my previous videos, you know I'm really heavy on the artillery. He's pretty upset about it, but oh well. Wow, that was a that was a pretty powerful artillery strike. I guess with the bonus that uh, I'm using the honor social policy, and you get a bonus for you get a flanking bonus if you have adjacent units. Plus, I have a great general here, um, which strengthens my adjacent units. He's pretty weak. He's he's pretty weak as far as his. <laughs> He's he's backwards in in uh, in the technology. I'm not gonna be able to take it on this turn. I don't think unless I can. Well, I, I might be able to do it with this one. I'm I'm gonna try. Do an amphibious attack and try to take him on this. Try to take Borsa on this turn. Okay, yeah. Oh, wow, that's a lot of unhappiness. I'm gonna have to go with the puppet. I've left these units behind here. Uh, just so I can guard against anything that might might come from the Polynesian. The Polynesian Empire has been not hostile, but they've been talking some smack, so... I've, I've left these units here, just in case something erupts on this on this front. Um, also I'm kind of concerned about the a Aztecs down here and which would normally be Afri the African continent down here but uh, these the Aztecs have pretty much the whole continent here and we are if you look here on the diplomacy we, he is hostile toward me so he could and he's fairly powerful militarily I mean he's if you look at the demographics uh, well you can't see here but I I know he's number two in the... Uh, he's the number two superpower in the world. And that's one of the reasons why I might hold off on taking Ankara. Because I don't really want to be right on his border. Um, just yet. I want to be ready for him before I go down there. Uh, I may just take these three cities and then recuperate. Maybe uh, take a couple city-states or... We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. Wow, you survived that. Okay. We get out of range. See what I can do with a rifleman here. If 
finish them off with. Finish these guys off with my rifleman. guys up a little bit before I do anything. I don't want to lose them just yet. I like how the weaker units seem to love to charge on a uh, on a more powerful unit like that. That's awesome. Um. Let's see if I can. Probably just use these and I'll use the artillery on these uh, pikemen, which it shouldn't take more than one, more than one uh, shelling on the pikemen, since they're so primitive. Yeah, yeah, they're gone. I kind of left a few... Uh, some of my prim primitive units here just for really the only reasons why I left them I, I could have upgraded them to riflemen but I left them behind because they're cheap and they help with my happiness you know each city that I leave a, a garrisoned uh, unit in there I get an extra an extra happiness so I left I left these back there just for that reason I can always upgrade them later if I need to and I probably will later on once I accumulate more happiness in my cities but um, for now And go ahead and, and build a... What is he building there? Okay, he's building a lumber mill. Once he gets done with that lumber mill, I'll have him build a, my road here to Bursa. Okay. I believe that's all I'm going to be able to do for this turn. Um, he sh shouldn't... Depending on what he brings through here, I shouldn't have too big of a problem from this side. Okay, let's see what he does. Okay, he's bringing more primitive units up. Waves are always on the side of the ape. Every great advance in science has issued from. Okay, uh, let's see. I can go ahead and get a social policy. I get scientific theory from my uh, research agreement with Genghis Khan. I had four. I have four research agreements going. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, let's see. I have coal. I which is they're already worked, which is good. I get coal right away. Okay, so another research agreement with Japan, I get navigation. Okay.
Let's go ahead and get a social policy. I, I'm really low on culture, so all I've, I've been able to do is, is finish up the honor. And now, because my gold is, uh, is in the negative, I'm going to go ahead and go with adopt uh, autocracy. The reason why is because it uh, lowers your military unit costs by 33%, and that should help me accumulate a larger army for later on. So I'm going to go ahead and go with that. I probably won't get too deep in there because just I got just because I got such, uh, I don't have enough culture, but. We'll just go ahead and start it. Start it out and see what happens. I may decide to go with commerce next. I'll just I'll just start autocracy. And the next um, time I get a social policy, I'll just go ahead and go with commerce, just because that increases my uh, gold and uh, lowers the maintenance cost for for roads. But right now, let's just go with autocracy. See right away, you can see that my gold production went from negative ten to plus thirty. So you can see the difference there. Let me go ahead and choose production for Wangzhou. Just because they're so low, such low on um, on population, I'm going to go ahead and go with the granary here because that was a recently conquered city and uh, they need more population. Bank. An opera house there. The lumber mill is done. I'm gonna go ahead and move this guy up here and uh, finish my road to Borsa. Wow, that's a tough unit. I need I need to bring some more need to bring my artillery down here. So but right now all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna off these ranged units here. 